First and foremost, you must own Gorilla Tag on the MetaQuest store. I don't mean the standalone version. You have to buy the game off of the PC store. As you can see, I type of Gorilla Tag right here. I already own the game because I already purchased it before. I didn't spend money. I got it for free when it was free at the time, but now it costs money because of modders and cheaters, yada yada. But just throw $30 on here. You'll get 5,000 shiny rocks. And don't worry, you will be able to install mods. So the same way you do with Steam on your Gorilla Tag game, you can also install mods. But here, now I'm going to show you guys how you guys can take Gorilla Tag from the MetaQuest store and link it to your steam vr instead also quick disclaimer you're also going to need virtual desktop as this does not work on steam link unfortunately at the time i cannot figure out a way to get it to work on steam link as the controller bindings do mess up and gorilla tech does not recognize the controllers unless you're using the virtual desktop plugin so once you have virtual desktop and you have the MetaQuest app and you also have gorilla tag installed on your pc what you want to do is you want to add a game on steam when you're in steam you want to have steam open go to your library click at this bottom left right here and add a game and you want to add a non-steam game it's going to pop up this little menu right here it's going to load for a second let it find programs on your pc but you don't want to go here you want to go down here in the corner where it says browse once you click browse you will see your windows drive unless you installed gorilla tag on another drive that's really up to you if you did that but you would want to go to where you installed the game to for a fat majority of you people the windows c drive is most likely default so i will show you the location of that now you want to go to windows c you want to go to program files you want to go scroll down a little bit you'll find oculus open up software and open up software again and you'll see another axiom gorilla tag you want to open this and you want to add the exe but as you double click it it will pop up right here with a check mark and you want to click add selected programs sometimes steam is a little buggy and you might have to do it again for it to actually work open up its properties and just type oculus on it also in its properties you want to tick include in vr library and you're basically done with that. So now that you have virtual desktop on your quest, now you want to get the PC streamer app. So you just want to go to the link that I'm going to put in the description and you want to download the streamer app. You can throw it anywhere. I'll just throw it in my downloads folder because it doesn't really matter where you put it. Once you have installed the setup, you want to run the setup and you want to go through the steps to the setup and then install virtual desktop. Once virtual desktop installed, you will have a menu like this. And I think in the first page, it will go to your accounts and you have to enter your meta ID, whatever your meta account username is you want to type that into here and that's beneficial for your quest to be able to find your virtual desktop streamer so just type your meta name in there and you will be able to type it in there press apply whatever it says and you're basically done for the pc part now at this point you can just open up steam vr through virtual desktop and launch the gorilla tag oculus version make sure you are not launching gorilla tag from the steam version Otherwise, you're just opening the Steam version and you're not going to get your cosmetics. You want to open the Oculus version. Make sure you also made sure that you change the title to Gorilla Tag Oculus so you know which one is which. That's how I do it. And also down here, it'll tell you it's a non-Steam game. So that's how you also know. And then you just press play in Steam VR and it will connect you to the meta servers with Steam VR as well. And you will get your cosmetics from your meta accounts. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.